Wow, what's bright out there? Good morning, YouTube. Happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend vlog. If you don't know what the weekend vlog is, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's where I vlog all weekend and take you guys along with me. And what I just showed you was our security camera. It is right in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's You can't see that. Maybe. It's right there in that doorway. That is our security camera, and the reason we got that is not because we live in an area where we are worried about someone breaking into our house. Absolutely not. We're not concerned about that one little bit. We have that security camera to help keep an eye on our animals while we're out of the house because they do bad things. Your slime, she's she's joined the slime craze. I make a business out of it. She has really made a business out of it. She, she's got a thing called Bomb Slime, her and a friend, and they make this stuff. People actually order it. They say, I want some slime. They make it for them. They take it to school, <laughs> and they sell it to them. That is awesome. She is a little entrepreneur starting out with Bomb Slime. Someday, who knows what she'll be doing. But uh, that kind of tells me the future of Emily is probably going to be a businesswoman, much like her mother. All right, guys, happy Friday. Let's get this day started. And the only way to get the weekend started, the only way to get any day started is with some coffee. And priorities, guys, priorities. I will see you in the next clip. Oh yeah. Good morning, wife. Happy Friday. Not really. She's mad at her dog. Her dog got in the garbage. Again. It's uh it's becoming a problem. I think the dog has an addiction to garbage. And she's tall enough to reach the garbage. Which is probably why my dog doesn't get in the garbage, because he's short and stubby. Otherwise, he probably would. We don't have a cabinet. It's true. We have a spinning cabinet right there that opens up. The dog got in that, too. She pulled out a loaf of bread <laughs> and ate it. <sighs> Animals. And, and, and like I said, we got this security camera to keep an eye on them. <laughs> and... Uh, well, I mean, we were sleeping. We didn't know. We were sleeping. We didn't know she was going to be in there just eating away at stuff. Animals. And our cat. Our cat is not normal. Guys, we don't have normal pets. It's true. It's it's so very true. We're watching you, Emily. <laughs> oh, the security cam is fun. It, it is a lot of fun. And it is in color, too. It, it um... It's, it's just kind of dark in the house right now, so it, it goes into like, excuse me, miss. It just, shh. <laughs> it just goes into uh, night vision mode uh, when it's dark in the house. My house is usually dark. I got, I got like big trees and around my house and, and bushes and things, and my house is kind of dark. I, I, I need to change that. I need to lighten up my walls, paint my walls white or off-white, which is in, in the plan for doing some work this summer to the house and uh, and and change some lighting cuz <laughs> oh my house is old I don't even want to get into it I don't even want to... the, the the security cam is fun and and as I did I tell you I was telling you it, it is in color it's in color um when it's bright enough in the house like a lot of times midday you'll see it in color but the night vision looks cool it looks more security cam ish and uh, um, when it's in color, it, 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 I mean, it's as cool as that looks. But anyway, it does help me keep an eye on the dogs. When I'm up in my office slash nerd cave working and I hear a commotion, go right to my phone, click on the camera, and you can turn it with your phone so you can hit like there's these, you hit this. I don't even know if you guys can see this very well. So if you hit that button, it brings up it brings up this this stuff and you can like 
turn the camera. So, oops. Yeah, so you can. So to turn back that way. Um, I don't know if it was coming through the camera or not, but anyway, you, and and you can hit a button so you can listen. You can listen to what's going on in the camera, and you can hold the microphone and talk through the camera. So if the dogs, well, I did this the other day. Chunky was down here, he kept barking at something, kept barking at something, I'm like, what is that dog barking at? So I checked the camera and I spin it around, I'm looking around the house, and uh, you know, obviously nobody was in the house because I, I don't think they would make it past Ebony. And so I yelled at the camera, shut up, <laughs> and it worked. It worked, he shut up. So anyway, we're getting this Friday started. Um, I'm also gonna be putting a security cam here. I'm gonna be putting one on my porch. Just because I think it's fun. I, and, and then I can like see what's going on in the living room because that security cam only goes so far. And then I can see what's going on in the living room then way. And then on the porch would be fun <laughs> because I could see who comes to the house and I could freak them out, like talk through the camera at them and stuff. Because this isn't for security reasons, it's for fun. <laughs> it really is. And to keep an eye on our fat little troublemakers. All right, guys, we got to. I gotta stop vlogging so I can continue our morning routine because she's gotta go to school. And I'm not coming back. Eventually, she's going. <laughs> no, she's, I'm not. She, <laughs> she's going. Okay. Well, we thought she was. We thought she was going to a friend's house and then coming back Saturday, but apparently she's never coming back. I'm coming back. And she she has to go to work. And I start a new job next week, guys. And I'm really excited about this job. And I, 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 next Friday, next weekend's vlog, I will show you guys what I do. Because I'll be, I'll be running this shop by myself next Friday. So I, I will take you guys along and show you exactly what I do. Because I, I, I think it's going to be fun. I, I'm looking forward to it. All right. I got to get off the camera. My wife's not starting her Friday out very happy. How are you? Do I need to fix that, uh, uh, adjust that attitude? With negative. <laughs> That's how, that's a, this is the attitude adjuster right here. It adjusts attitudes. It's not negative. It's it's a positive thing. No. Yeah. Domestic violence is not a positive thing, guys. Don't beat your wife. Or wives, don't beat your husbands, because I'm sure that happens a lot. A lot. Um, <laughs> I, I know one occasion, and I'm not even talking about my own occasion. <laughs> I'm not talking about my wife beating me. I know one other occasion where a where husband... <laughs> was physically abused. I, I don't know why I'm laughing. I mean, I guess that's probably why it's never reported because people laugh about it. And I shouldn't be laughing because it's a serious matter. If, if wives beat their husbands, that's terrible. That's just as terrible as a husband beating his wife. But it's okay to beat your kids. It's okay to beat your kids. Keep them in line. Not, okay knock, them, knock them around beat a little you bit. Yesterday, I won. No, it's not true. Don't beat your kids either. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. I gotta eat breakfast. I will see you in the next clip. Oh man! All right, guys. Ah, get past the truck. Big truck in the road. Big truck trying to. 
big truck trying to pass. Oh wow, he's out running. Nice job. Um, I know that guy. Anyway, um, just we just my, my wife and I after we drive drop our daughter off to school, we drive around a little before I drop her off at work. And uh, and and <laughs> and our com our conversation this morning. Oh boy. I mean, I, I'm not going to tell I know I'm always vague with this stuff. I'm always like, I, my wife and I had this hilarious conversation, and I'm not going to tell you. I would love to say it. I would love to tell you the conversation we're having, but it's not YouTube friendly. <laughs> There's got to be a, you could say it some way. <laughs> okay. Um, we were. <laughs> which, is, which is more naturally. No, no, no. We was talking about the lesbian thing first. Right, with either being lesbian or gay. Right. So we Which was trying to decide makes more sense. Right. We was trying to decide whether to be for, for a woman and a woman to be together makes more sense. I mean none of it makes sense. But it what makes more sense? A woman and a woman or a man and a man? And my wife says a, a woman and a woman, which no. I said it was the guys. All right. <laughs> I said okay, I said that backwards. I said a woman and a woman and my wife said, it makes more sense for guys. And I'm like, no. Only because, you know, it's just gross and weird. But, because <laughs> she said that guys can naturally, <laughs> oh God, oh, this is family friendly. We can't talk about this. They can naturally be together, whereas females cannot. They need extra They stuff. need to purchase stuff from, <laughs> so they need to go to, to uh, to the adult store and purchase stuff to to be completely satisfied <laughs> according according to I mean uh, it's <laughs> so we're having this conver That's the conversation yeah we're having this conversation like like just comment below I mean, what do you what do you think is more natural <laughs> oh man oh there goes the subscriber because it's falling there goes the number sorry guys it was just a conversation I don't even know how it got brought up. I was talking about rock stars acting feminine. That's how I got brought up. Yeah. Anyway, I got to drop my wife off at work <laughs> so we can stop having these odd conversations. So that was our conversation. So I didn't even have to be vague. I could just tell you, kind of tell you what our conversation was about. It wasn't vulgar. We weren't being disgusting or dirty. We was just, we was just discussing it. And then it struck me funny because it was like, <laughs> it was like this conversation. And then I was like, I gotta, I gotta tell the YouTubes. I gotta tell the YouTubes about this conversation. Look, see this shadow on my face right here? That's bird poop on my window. <laughs> I got a bird poop shadow. That's random. Huh? I got a bird poop shadow. I, I saw it. And they was probably like, "What the hell's that?" It's a bird poop shadow. <laughs> oh you man. Your truck? I, I it's getting a bath today after my run. Truck's getting a bath, and I don't have to mow the yard. The yard's been done. I mean, I've got, I've got a lot done this week, guys. Alrighty. Got to drop her off at work. I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, YouTube. It is time to go get this exercise in. Because if I didn't, I would be very mad at myself. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's days I'm like, I don't want to run. I just don't want to run. And I really fight with myself. But I go and do it anyway. Because over the course of about six years of me running... I've learned that if I listen to myself and not go exercise, I'm pissed all day about it. So just to make myself feel better and to get that exercise, and, and which is better for me, I just go do it. I just I just start putting on the running clothes and don't even even listen to, to myself say I don't want to do it. Because once you got the running gear on, you might as well go. I'll be right back. Well, shortly, I'll be back. <sighs> it's getting warm it is getting warm but uh this time of year is so cool because i see so many runners and walkers out and it's people i know and people i can stop and say hey how's it going good to see you out here good to see you getting exercise it's inspiring it's inspiring to see all these runners and walkers out here getting exercise first thing in the morning it's very cool to me I just like that kind of stuff. But it is getting warm. This is gonna be our nicest weekend we've had so far. No rain, and uh, 
um, just just like high of 70 some. So morning runs like this in the 40s is perfect. I had to stop and stretch for a little bit though. Um, I've noticed that getting in and out of that big old truck is uh, has strained my calves a little bit, so my calves are sore. <laughs> I'll get used to it, but it's just kind of funny. Anyway, I'm gonna continue this run. I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, that went well. That went good. Pace was fan freaking tastic. My pace is getting better and better. Um, I'm I'm feeling like I'm back to my running self. N nearly. I I slowed way down when I went through some injuries and just stuff, and I slowed way down. But these runs and being staying consistent is doing me good. It is time to shower, and I promise you guys, I won't take you into the shower with me this time. I, I know that 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 gets kind of weird. I'll see you in the next clip. Oh yeah. Nothing like that for rest shower feeling. There really is nothing like it. It is amazing. I love it. Quiet. All right, I'll let you in. Ebony don't get to come in yet. She was bad and she got in the garbage. She's being punished at the moment. I don't like it, I don't like it. But she's being punished at the moment. So I do have the security cam. I can keep an eye on her if I let her in. So I could probably let her in and just keep an eye on her. Make sure she don't get in any garbage. I really don't know what the heck her problem is. She gets punished for it, she gets put outside, she gets yelled at, she gets swatted on the behind. She don't care. The, the drive to eat bread out of the garbage is so overpowering that she don't care if she gets, she don't care about the consequences. She has an addiction, guys. She needs a seven step or a five step program. Maybe a seven step program. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. To, to get over this addiction of eating garbage and bread. She don't really, really eat garbage. She searches for bread. She loves bread. She gotta get them carbs, I guess. She needs them carbs. Okay, I got my monster. This is gonna fuel my day. Um, I gotta go get some work done up in my office for just a short bit of time. Then I'm gonna take the truck and give it a bath, and then I'm gonna try to. Get, I'm gonna get my cover on my truck just to see how that works. Cause I got that new cover by Budge, B U D G E. Uh, never heard of that company before until I got a truck cover. Um, hopefully, it's a good one. It looks like a good one. So, and it's got a locking mechanism on it, so people can't just come up and steal your truck cover. Because people will do that stupid shit. Because people are, don't want to earn what they get. Some people just want to go steal it. People. Not all people. Probably the biggest majority of people are willing to work for what they get. But there's that rare few group fistful of jerks that just want to steal your stuff. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna wa wash the truck. Get it. Get it nice and clean. This bird pooped on it on the window, it's not on the paint. Oh, and anyway, I'm not gonna get into it because I'll give something away and I can't give it away until next weekend. So, um, sorry, I know, I'm so vague sometimes. I'm just, you, you guys are like, oh, Steve. Steve, you just leave this hanging, if you even care. Um, and then I'm gonna try to get that truck cover on there. It shouldn't be hard, it should just slip right over, but there's like a, like these hooks and, and, and things that probably hold it down. And then there's this thing that goes across the middle that has a lock so it can't just be pulled off um i don't need it this weekend because our weekend's going to be gorgeous and no rain and all that stuff but i just want to i just want to see how it works i just i just want to i just want to see how it functions um if it was a a perfect world um and a world that was inspector gadget-esque i could just hit a button this was my wife's idea she's very imaginative sometimes uh, from a woman that says she has no imagination. This was her idea. She said you should be able to hit a button and this thing should just deploy from the top of the truck like a parachute and go poof, and open up and just gingerly float down over your truck, covers on. <laughs> that's, that's a fantastic idea. I mean, as, as, as Inspector Go Go, you know, a gadget truck cover it sounds, that's it. Could you imagine? I mean, there were, there were probably, there, there's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration with something like that, though. I mean, there couldn't be nothing above you. You'd have to be on the open. 
Um, if he was in a parking garage or something and accidentally hit that button. Um, so so, so there's, some, there's some downfalls to that idea, but it's a hell of an idea. I need to patent that and, and, and come up with, with that. That's incredible. Anyway, all right, all right, Steve. All right, Steve. Enough of the shenanigans. Would you get to work and end this clip? Because people are sick of listening to your crap. <sighs> it's probably true. No, you're not. You're not sick of listening to my crap. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking at my face right now listening to my video. So, you like coming to the Steve Tooley channel. You like watching the life of Steve Tooley and his family. So, so, so there. I, I know you don't care that I'm acting like a complete spaz right now. <laughs> I'll see you in the next clip. I love that camera. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm up here in my nerd cave. I'm just up here in my nerd cave, chilling, getting some work done, watching some YouTube videos, wondering, hmm, is Chunky getting on the couch? I hate when he does that. He knows he's not supposed to. I'm wondering if he's getting on the couch. I figured I would check on him. So I grabbed the camera, or not grabbed the camera, I connected the camera, I spin it around, there he is laying behind the couch like a good bulldog that he is. So... That's cool. Um, I am going to let Ebony in here a little bit because I forgot to let her in before I came up here because my original plan was to let her in so because I could just watch her with the camera and I forgot to do that and now I feel bad. So I'm going to have to go down and let her in a little bit and then I'll just keep an eye on her with the camera while I'm up here doing stuff. I love this camera. I can't wait to get two more. <laughs> um, originally, I had some issues with it. Originally, I could not f keep it connected. It kept It kept disconnecting and and it wouldn't stay on the network and I'm like, what is wrong with this thing? Well, then I went into the app, and by chance I noticed there was a little blue bar that said firmware update. I'm like, eh. So I updated the firmware, and it's been running like a champ. So if you get this camera, it is a Kodak. I, I don't know exact. It's a Kodak. Um, I'll, I'll get the exact um, um, uh, brand. Well, it's Kodak. I'll get the exact model number and stuff and put it across the screen. Like right here about, about where my chin is. <laughs> and uh, um, let you guys know what that is, because um, if you get one of these... Um, update the firmware right away, and you, you'll you'll be happy. They're so cool. They're so cool because they will they will show color if you're if it gets dark they go automatically into night vision mode. Um, but it is in color. Um, it does have sound. You can click the sound button and listen. So if I have one on my porch, you know, facing the front door or what have you, and someone shows up. <laughs> I can talk. I can listen to it or talk through it. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. So I'm getting, I'm getting two more. They're around fifty dollars, and we ordered it from a website called Morningstar.com. So shout out to my dad because uh, he he got his first. And and when we went to see him, when we went to pick up the truck, he was showing it to us, and he he was he was on his cell phone looking through it and talking through it and stuff. And and he got it from Morningstar.com. Not a plug, but by any means, not 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 a endorsement, nothing. Uh, they didn't pay me to do this. I guarantee that. Uh, the YouTube world makes us say this, so I'm just just make clarifying. It's, I didn't get paid to say that. Um, but Morningstar.com is where we got it. It was like 50 bucks, maybe maybe 60 bucks, including shipping. And and it it's it's a good camera. It, at first, I was pissed about it. I was like, man, this thing is just doesn't work it won't stay on the network and it's ticking me off and then i updated the firmware it's on the network always now i can go check it out whenever i feel like it and i like it and i mean occasionally it will disconnect like if the, oh, naturally if the power goes out because it's powered by um, um uh, an ac adapter and um but uh installation wasn't too hard it's a you got a plate that you install and then you to put the camera up onto it and just click it on and you're good to go and you can hang it upside down because you can flip the camera in the camera settings you can flip the camera so if you got to hang it upside down you can uh flip the camera so it looks like it's right uh that that's what i had to do and uh you can have it set sideways um, you can mount it really any any way you want because it mounts from the bottom and and you mount the plate and you just click the camera on there so re really cool camera really cool camera so yeah if you get one if, if you want one and you get one just remember you have to update that firmware but I do like it I do like it um, I I think it's cool having a camera and because I obviously as you just seen I can record with it I can snap pictures with it so. Um, 
uh, all I have to do is hit the record button and hit a record. I haven't tried to record with the sound on. I, I don't even know if I can do that, so I don't know. But uh, um, it's cool. It's just cool. I'm just having fun. And so to have two more of those, um, having cameras just around the house, f simply even for vlog purposes is kind of cool. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, that was a McDonald's theme song, and then I started to sing another song. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'll see you in the next clip. I know, I know. I'm going <laughs> goofy with this camera. I decided to check. <laughs> Chunky wasn't laying on the rug behind the couch. I'm like, he best not be on the couch. He best not be on the couch. So I started zooming the camera around. He's not. He's just laying in the chair sleeping like a good little bulldog. Such a cool camera. I know. I, you're going to see a lot of it this weekend. Alrighty, YouTube. I'm kicking butt and taking names this morning. I got three videos edited. Working on the fourth one. I'm rocking it out. I figure I gotta knock this stuff out today, which is Friday, because, well, I get Monday off, but then the rest of next week, I'm working outside the house, so I gotta get this work done. So there you have it. Um, I'm actually working on Riley Elmore's video. He uh, he was on The Voice. He actually came in top 20 of The Voice. Um, I don't know if you guys watched The Voice or not, but uh, Riley was, uh, uh, he's like a crooner, like a, he's, 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 um, um, like Frank Sinatra type of, of, I mean, he don't sound like Frank Sinatra. He's got his own voice, but he's like kind of that type of sound. It's really good stuff. And uh, so I worked with him uh, through mega events over the weekend. He was the, the entertainment at the auction, uh, raising money for uh, St. Thomas More Catholic School. And uh, that's what this auction was all about. And he was there, which is actually kind of cool. And uh, this kid's going places. He, he He's very young, and he's definitely going places. He's... Uh, He's really good. So, working on his video. That is the last video I have to do. Might have to do one more in there. I don't know, but uh, I have that knocked out after lunch. And then I got to wash the truck. And then I got to put try to put on the cover. So I haven't gotten nothing outside the house done. But that's okay. I need to take this time, sit down, and 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 get these videos knocked out because I recorded them last Saturday. If you didn't watch last Saturday's weekend vlog, I worked for 15 hours. Just saying. I gotta make lunch for my wife and uh, get that to her. So I will see you in the next clip. Okay, got lunch for my little lady and myself. Got to put some socks on. My tootsies are cold. It's kind of chilly in the house. It's nice outside, um, or supposed to be. But man, this house just traps the, the, the cold, cool air in, which is awesome in the summertime. Like I said, we got these big trees, two big trees in our backyard and this one in our front yard, plus all these bushes. And in, in the summertime, we turn on the air, man, it just traps all that cold air in here because the sun's not beating down on the house. And uh, so in the summertime, it makes it nice. And then in the wintertime, the sun can beat down on the house. 
because there's no leaves on the trees and the bushes are bare. And so that helps heat the house. So I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty good deal. Thank you, Mother Nature, for, for being awesome like that. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But you guys, you guys already know that. I never know what the hell I'm talking about. All right. So. Sometimes you just can't find that one little hair that finds its way into you. I'll see you guys in the next clip. coffee cup in here. I use the cut this for my Yeti for my coffee and then I use my Ozark this big behemoth for my um, my uh, my my cold drinks uh, the, there's no really no reason I think they both work fantastic but uh, this one fits under the the uh, the Keurig, Keurig better this one fits under there better uh, whereas this one, this big behemoth, don't fit under there very good. It kind of sits at an angle. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. All right. Oh, man. I cannot keep my hair out of my face or out of my mouth. Okay, guys. I'm going to go do this lunch. going to get back. going to finish up my videos. Then I'm going to get this truck a bath and uh, try to put that cover on. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you in the next clip. How cool is that, that I can watch my kitchen? I'm sitting here outside my wife's work waiting for her to come out. And I just checked on the dogs. and the Well, checked on the kitchen to make sure the dogs did, didn't get into the kitchen. And that just blows me away. It's just so cool that I'm over here at my wife's work. And, and I can look at what's going on inside my house. That's awesome. Alrighty. She'll be out here in a few minutes. I'm going to do lunch. I'll see you in the next clip. Thumbs up. You still there? You, you still there? Okay, I said go to the next clip, crying out loud. Hi, wife. Hi, Abby. How's your day going? It's going. It's Friday. If I make it that long. I mean, you only got, what, four hours? <sighs> My back. I need a rub. <laughs> oh, man. Tough job. Yes, you should. Let me put the window down. Okay. There you go. Thank you. All right. It is lunch time. We're gonna get down on our food, and I'll see you in the next clip. YouTube lunch is done I've got to go get a movie from Redbox and then I've got to go wash the beast sit tight alrighty I've got the bye bye man this looks killer cannot wait to watch this I watched the trailer looks amazing now it's time to go get this beast all clean and shiny
Alrighty, time to get this baby cleaned up. It's dirty, a lot of rain, a lot of mud. of a sweat putting that freaking cover on that is definitely not a one-man job i mean i did it but it's uh it would be it would be just i mean obviously it'd be way easier if i had someone helping me to get that up there but definitely not a one-man job but it, it it worked um it has a locking mechanism I, there, there's two plastic grommets that you hook this cable to and you can lock the cable so someone can't just pull it off there's um there's um webbing that you can um it's got clips, so you can hook this webbing up and clip it underneath the bumpers, I think. Uh, but it fits. It fits. So when there's bad weather, when it's shitty outside, I have a um, I have a cover to put on, which will which will come in handy. So when when bad weather hits or when winter hits, um, I, I'll be doing that a lot. But my wife is definitely gonna have to help me put that on or off because I. I'm sweating, guys. I'm sweating. Now I gotta go get a monster. Oh, I gotta go get a monster. It's hot outside. What is the temperature? I'll tell you in one second. It says it's only 57 degrees out. I don't know if I believe that. It feels hotter than 57. There's not a lot of breeze, though. Anyway, it's monster time. work going on <laughs> okay so I've got this last video to finish up I, I told I told Mike from Meg events that I would be sending him these videos today and that's exactly what I'm gonna do if you hear noise I got my window open it's it's getting warm up here and I got this oh man There's just no words. There's just no words for how beautiful those things are. All right, that sounded that sounded pathetic. Okay, guys, I gotta get to work. I gotta get this stuff knocked out. I will see you in the next clip. And I'm going to hang out with my buddy Zach tonight. 
I might sneak the GoPro in with me and try to get a little footage of us hanging out. We're gonna gonna go up to the local bar and sit. Uh, I'm gonna have to take my wife with me because my daughter's staying at a friend's house tonight, so my wife's gonna go with me. We're just gonna sit there, have a few drinks, chit chat, talk about things, talk about stuff I got coming up and stuff I got, you know, and, and probably talk about the last job I did, which was the charity event that that, that I'm working on now. We just like to get together and kind of have business talk. So that ought to be fun. Um, I don't know if I'll get any footage of that. Um, I don't know. I've never I've never tried to record in this bar before, but I don't think they'd care. Um, because they've asked me to shoot drone footage uh, flying over their bar when it's packed on a Saturday or Friday or Saturday night because it gets packed. Um, it's, it's a pretty nice place. So, And the name of that bar is Giggs, so shout out to Giggs, anybody watching gigs they got great food and and um it's a nice place real nice place they fixed it up made it look fantastic so shout out to them if if if, if you've never never been there if you're local you've been there i guarantee um and if 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 you're ever coming to this area which i don't know why you would ever come to fairway illinois but if you are stop by there for food and booze man i mean they got it all i i think i don't know i think they even serve breakfast i'm not sure though but it is a nice place. All right, see you in the next clip. I gotta get work done. My hiding. My wife's hiding right over there. I don't know why she's hiding from the camera. It's not like she's never been on it before. She's off work early, shirking her duties, just taking off work, <coughs> playing hooky. <coughs> That's it, guys. This is it. It, was, <coughs> it was nice knowing you. This is it for me. She has to take over the channel. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh Lord. <coughs> oh, I think I'm having allergy issues. I'm allergic to nuts and she <coughs> she's eating peanuts and blew it in my face and I'm not <coughs> I don't know what's going on. At least you're not gay. Oh dear. <coughs> 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 Whew. You better? No, but <coughs> I got something in my shoe. Yeah. Is that what's making you fall? Yeah. Like, oh, man. <coughs> I'll be all right, guys. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. <Whew. coughs> I got to sort this out. <laughs> we got to go do some shopping. I will be right back. <coughs> <coughs> See you in the next clip, hopefully. Howdy, YouTube. We're back from shopping and guess, 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 guess what I found. Shut up, dogs. I found Masters of the Universe. Low subjects, Masters of the Universe. I found them at Walmart. This is awesome. So we're just going to open them right now. We're going to open them right now. I'm not going to do a separate boxing. I'm going to open them right here exclusively for the vlog. I need a knife. You know, if that nice and dirty. Shut up, dogs! They're so stupid. Sure, let's let's see if I get anything that I don't have. The chances are not very likely. See how lucky I get. It's a blind bag. Rip it open. It's so shiny. It's really shiny. Yes! I got the flocked one. It's this is awesome. It's I don't have Shut up, dogs. I don't have this one. This is Go. the flocked. I don't know if you guys can see it. Go, Evan. He's furry. He's furry. The other two I have. So this is a 1 in 96 chance to get the flock. <laughs> why don't I even try to vlog? I don't even know why I try. We let these stupid, wretched animals in. They're stupid and wretched sometimes. This is awesome, guys. I've got, I got a rare chase. I got my first, man, I almost wish I did an unboxing on these now. I got my first rare chase, Master of the Universe. Very cool. He's all fuzzy. I don't know if you can tell, but he's all fuzzy. He's so cool. Okay, now I'm, I'm excited to see what I'm going to get next. I got a rare chase. I got, a, I got the one in 96. I got a rare chase figure. All right. That's awesome. That is awesome. So I think I told you guys this. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're going to hang out with my buddy Zach tonight. My wife's going to go with me. 
think I'm just going to eat some chicken wings and have a beer. All right, this one's kind of light. So if I get Tila, if I get Tila, I am cr crapping a gold brick. I'm going to do my best to crap a gold brick if I get Tila. I'm not doing a backflip because I'd probably break my neck, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, I'm not going to crap a gold brick, but all right, here we go. Here we go. Sound like gun. Well, at least I got that. I got this stupid evil win. I got her again. I need Taylor. I need Taylor, not her. Ah. I don't know. I got three or four of her now. But I got the flocked beast, man. <laughs> that was that was worth it. That was worth it right there. That was worth it. He's got his whip. Yeah, I got the flocked beast, man. Rare chase. I got a rare chase. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. All right. All right, guys. Um. We have a, my, my wife and I have a movie to watch, so we'll go hang out with Zach uh, in about in about an hour. We're going to go hang out with Zach, and then we're going to come back. And uh, if my wife's not too wasted drunk from drinking so much at the bar because she's got a drinking problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She bought a six-pack of Mike's, or hard soda, and there's still four left. And that was last weekend. Awesome, guys. It's the fuzzy flocked... Beast man, 196 chance, rare chase. I got a rare chase. Oh man, that makes me want to go back and buy more. And next weekend, next weekend. Alrighty, you gonna be all right, Chunky? You gonna be okay? I mean, it's not that hot, dude. I know for a bulldog, this probably feels like it's 100 degrees out, but. Alrighty, guys, I got to. We basically, my wife and I just we just bought clothes. I, I like I said, I've got a job coming up. Um, where I'm gonna be working outside the house. 40 hours a week, five days a week. And uh, so I got some work clothes. Um, this job's gonna be fun. I, I think I mentioned that, but I think this job's gonna be fun. And I can't wait till next Friday, cause I'll be running, son of a, cause I'll be running the shop by myself then. And uh, to take you guys along and show you what I'm doing. I, I, I think it's awesome. I honestly think it's awesome. Alrighty. I don't know if I'm going to vlog anymore tonight. We shall see. I might vlog a little bit after we get back out of the bar. I'm not going to vlog in the bar. I, that's just weird. That's just weird. And, 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 and uh, I mean, I don't think they would care if I did. Um, but I'm probably not. I'm just saying. I'm probably not. I just want to chill, hang out with Zach, talk business, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alrighty, YouTube. Sorry for the graininess. I'm using my phone. We are back from hanging out with Zach. Went to the local bar, had some food, had a few drinks, went to his back to his mom's house, hung out with him. You know, that's what we do. We just hang out and talk and laugh and joke and have fun. And it was good times, good food. And now we're home and we're gonna watch the Bye Bye Man. Which is supposed to be which, not supposed to say it or think it. That's what they say in the trailer. Don't say it or think it because then he'll appear and make your life a living hell. So we're going to do that. We're going to watch this movie and uh, and then and then i see you in the morning because uh, I'm not going to vlog after this. I'll let you know how the movie was in the morning if I remember. Anyway, see you in the morning. Uh, good morning, YouTube. Happy Saturday morning. It is gorgeous out. Dear Lord, it's nice out here. My goodness. It is fantabulous out here. It's busy next door. Man, it's nice. God, it's nice. I mean, it's not even chilly. It's only, it's only 8 in the morning. Not even chilly. It is gorgeous out here. It's going to be a good day gonna be a good Saturday there is a freaking oh you, you didn't see it it's a Corvette uh, like a real nice yellow Corvette just drove past my house I know I know squirrel sidetracked anyway happy Saturday and uh, it's like I said a nice day we did watch uh, bye bye man but we didn't watch it last night cuz I ended up falling asleep so we, we watched that this morning and <laughs> not bad not bad I guess it's just, I don't know, I, I, I'm so into horror flicks and scary movies and stuff like that that it's really hard to scare me. It's really hard to scare me. I don't get scared easy. So it was like, eh, but 
I'm a terrible judge for a movie like that because I don't get scared easy. If you get scared easy, maybe be, like my daughter Shana, she should watch it, and and she could give it a scare rating. <laughs> she scares easy. Okay, I've got to go in and uh, start some coffee, start some breakfast. My wife is in the bathroom doing her morning routine, getting her teeth teeth brushed and all that, all that good stuff. Dogs are eating their breakfast. Well, this pig has already ate hers. And this little piggy's still working on his. Okay. These are these are Mother's Day flowers for my wife's mother. And uh, they're going to be here tomorrow. Her mother and her grandmother are going to be here tomorrow to celebrate Mother's Day with us. I'll be cooking on the grill. And uh, so that ought to be fun. That ought to be fun. But today, today we don't have to, this is a weekend where we don't have to do a whole lot of anything. Um, just not a whole lot going on. So, uh, we just get to chill this weekend, this Mother's Day weekend. We just get to kind of chill out and relax and, and not do a whole lot. And that's kind of nice. So I don't know what the day's going to bring. I don't know. But I'm going to get it started with some coffee and some breakfast. Good morning, wife. Good morning. Here's your coffee. You. Happy Saturday. Huh? Happy Saturday. <laughs> What'd you think of of the Bye Bye Man? I'm not supposed to say it. You don't think it or say it. You just did. I just spread the virus. No. It was good. Yeah, it was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I was just saying earlier that I don't get scared very easy. It's just not like I'm a bad judgment of those types of movies. Because I don't get scared very easy. It wasn't scary. No, it wasn't. Maybe it would have been at night. The Bye Bye Band would make an awesome um, um, Halloween costume. Yeah. He was cool looking. He really was. Alrighty, I got my coffee. My wife is on breakfast duty. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's hot. But it's delicious. They're fine, wife. They're fine. They look a little cloudy. <laughs> Trust me, they're fine. Now those eggs look perfect. That one does. They're fantastic. These do not. Well, don't use them then. Well, I don't know. Do you want the other ones? Yeah. I mean, you're the one with the food sanitation license, not me. Try those. And if those don't work, we got <laughs> we got some more. <laughs> um, do you want toast? I mean, I guess you have to have toast for, yeah. All right, all right, guys. I, I'm gonna go help my wife with breakfast. Why are you looking in the fridge? <laughs> and Chucky's like, man, look at all this food. <laughs> He's just checking it out. What are you gonna do? Are you, gonna, are you gonna make a sandwich? <laughs> Chucky. Hey, <laughs> hey, what are you? You got. You just gonna make it. Oh no! Now you gotta bark it. What? What? The ham's talking smack to you now? What? That? The ham said something to say. What are you mad about? <laughs> get that refrigerator. Get that fridge. Kick that ham's butt. Get it. Get that. Get that refrigerator. Don't let that refrigerator talk crap to you. Get it. <laughs> oh, man. oh, only my dog. Only my dog would have a problem with the fridge. Oh, oh, now he's got a problem with something else. What's the problem over here? Are you just, are you just being a tough guy protecting that? What, the garbage can talking smack now? Go. Okay. Now now that that shenanigans is over with, having, having kitchen shenanigans because of this little fathead. Let him play with it. Let him play with You're it. You're going to clean up the mess. There you go. They're Chunky. Fight over it. You want this? Want this? Want this? Want this? You want it? Want it? Get it! What the heck? <laughs> he pounced on it. That's not gonna be fun. Oh, <laughs> don't get out. No, don't, don't, here, let me let me have that back. Let me, let me have it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away because he's gonna take it on the backboard and shred it. Okay. All right. Now that I started enough. Oh dear lord. Now it's just crazy in the kitchen. I I'll see you in the next clip.
breakfast is served. Poached eggs on toast. And I love the fact that I can just hit record and record right from the camera on the ceiling. That's awesome to me. That's very awesome. Okay, I can't carry all this. So I'm gonna have to get off the vlog. All right, it is breakfast time. Poached eggs on toast, coffee. I'm gonna sit down and probably watch something on, on TV and eat our breakfast and then and then get this day started. We gotta we gotta find our daughter sometime. I mean, not that we don't know where she's at, because we know exactly where she's at, because we have Life 360, and that tells us exactly where our daughter's at, her location, and we can pinpoint her and kind of even zoom in. So we're not paranoid. I mean, I think we people probably they, we say paranoid, you know, because we have weapons in our house, we have cameras, <laughs> security cameras in our house. No, we're not paranoid. The security camera is simply to keep an eye on the dogs, which we was doing last night which was awesome. I was showing Zach this camera and then we can keep an eye on the dogs and uh, he thought it was kind of cool. And the fact that I can I can talk through it and the fact that, uh, I guess we're gonna sit at the table. We're not gonna sit in the living room and watch Net uh, Netflix. We're gonna sit at the table. And, the, and that I could I could be, I was, we were sitting at the bar's restaurant and we was eating and I, and I, I could have easily like, you know, oh, because I hit the I hit the button to listen to the sound, and I could hear what was. And it's just so cool. This technology just blows me away. I love it. I know security cam cameras have been around forever, but this one I can control when I'm away from the house. I find that fascinating. Alrighty, breakfast time. <clears throat> oh man, here we go again. This is this is probably it, guys. This this is probably the last one I get. So hopefully I see you in the next clip. fans loud oh it's nice up in the rib cave I, I cracked the window a little bit last night turned on that fan because it was getting hot up here feels good feels good okay i gotta knock out a few things real quick for this saturday and then i'm done up in the nerd cave but uh gotta knock a few things out i'll see you in the next clip i think my buddy kong's gonna stop by i think I'm not sure. He's, he's chatting with me on Facebook at the moment. Anyway. kind of funny how quick Ebony like kind of catches on she uh, my wife used to have to sit in the back seat and hold the leash through that window and uh, now we've there's a loop back there that's attached to the frame of the truck which is kind of crazy I'm not even sure why that's there but it is there and so we got the leash tied to that and uh, she's just going 
she's just chilling. She's yeah, no problems. Like, I mean, she walks back and forth, but she's just curious about you know. She don't know which side she wants to look at. But she's looking out one side. She runs to the other side. She's afraid she's gonna miss something. She's having fun. And hopefully, my my goal, and I, I don't know how often I probably just through town. My goal is to get it so she just jumps up in there. I don't have to, you know, tether her to anything. She'll just sit back there. She's doing great, though. It, when we first took her out, she was trying to climb up on the sides and stuff, and she's not even doing that now. So she's being a good dog. back from uh, taking Ebony for a ride. I know it's not exercise, but she loves that I'll probably just as much, if not more, than uh, getting worn out running. I know she needs exercise, and I did take her for walks, but just being in the back of that truck, she digs it. And people just think it's freaking awesome when you're driving through town and, and they see this big black dog sitting in the back of this truck. All the little kids are like, oh, look. Pretty funny. Alrighty. I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot. It's beautiful out. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous out there. My God, it's gorgeous. It's like, it was 69 degrees. Oh, it's just so nice. So nice. I should be doing some drone flying, but I don't feel like it. Alrighty. I'm not sure what my wife and I have in store for the rest of the day. We're not going to see e Emily until about, probably till about 1 o'clock. She's, well, I don't know. It is 10.30 now. I don't know when we're going to see Emily, do you? No. Not sure when the game's over. Well, she was going to Dairy Queen, so I've, I'm assuming that it was over. Oh, Alrighty. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to plop my butt down and uh, do a little bit of nothing for a little bit. I know that's, I mean, that's pretty much all I've been doing. I've, I've been wasting gas by driving my dog around town. But uh, it gave me an excuse to just drive my truck and... Uh, and Ebony loved it, so. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'll see you guys in the next clip. That'd be great. Look, we got Emily back. She came back. She's not lost and gone forever. We missed you. <laughs> it's true. No, I'm just kidding. We missed you. We did miss you. But you weren't that far away. Are you hungry? Yes. You haven't ate all day? No. What the heck? Why didn't they feed you? <laughs> well, we haven't played any volleyball game. We woke up at like 8.45 and we had to be there by 9. See Ebony in the back? She's loving the truck rides. And she just, she just, she's good at it now. It's no big deal. We just hook her up and she, she rides. It's awesome. It is, uh, it is hot out, guys. I mean, compared to what we're used to, I know like in the middle of August, if it's only 76 out, we're going to be like, oh, that's nice. But now it's 76 and we're like, dear Lord, it's hot. We go from <laughs> we go from our very cold weather we had, what, about a week ago, which was like 40s to like 76 degrees. Like, heat wave. Alrighty. We're going to go home. I'm going to feed this kid. She's, she's famished. She's, she's fat. She's f f forklept or whatever the, the Jewish people say. I don't know. I'm not Jewish. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I'll see you in the next clip. Get out of my truck. Hold on, I gotta finish this stuff. No. I gotta get this window closed. I gotta pull this leash in. And put the key in. Put the key in. Turn it. And there's a little button up here.
He is a superhero. He is. It's true. Stan Lee's a superhero. Oh, man. I gotta get a couple of videos knocked out. I don't wanna. It's Saturday. And I feel very lazy today. I don't. I, it's just one of those lazy feeling Saturdays. It's kind of the feeling I had when I was in Cancun. And it was 80 degrees. And and just beautiful and nice and I just I, you just get that lazy day feeling you don't want to do anything you just want to lounge around. My wife and I lounged by the pool. We lounged in our hotel room when we was in Cancun. We did a whole lot of just relaxing, <laughs> and that feeling's coming back to me. It's like nearly 80 degrees outside and just it's just nice and it just makes you lazy. That's what this weather does. But, I gotta buckle down. Buckle down, Steve. Buckle down. Get your videos done so you don't have to worry about it the rest of the week. Well, because you're gonna be busy the rest of the week. Which I'm very excited about. I'm very excited about this new job adventure. I didn't think I would be very excited again about working outside the house. <laughs> um, I much I much enjoy being... Well, I'm still gonna be my own boss at this job. So that's why, probably why I'm excited because... Nobody's going to be telling me what to do. I'm going to be going, setting my own hours, going in when I want, leaving when I want, um, getting the work done. I'm very, I'm very particular. Here's, here's, here's my work ethic. I, I, I will just explain it to you guys. Not to, maybe not to, that you care, but I'm just going to explain it real quick. I'm, I'm very organized, very organized. And to have my own shop, dear Lord, it's going to be OCD organized. Um, so that's good because it's not like other people's going to be in there with me. Um, and I can't, you know, I try to organize things and they, they unorganize things. I, I'm, it's going to be organized. I'm very organized. I'm very particular in this line of work that I'm going into. And I know I'm being vague and not telling you guys what I'm going into, but I'm saving it for the next weekend vlog uh, so I can show you. But this line of work, paying attention to detail and being very particular and very perfectionist uh, esque. And, um, uh, is is going to play a big part. So to to be OCD, this is a perfect job for someone with OCD, and someone that has to have everything in its place. Um, I've even seen OCD people that it's not super organized, or it's not super visually appealing, but it's organized. Which if I don't even know if that makes sense because when I see something organized, it's very visually appealing. But I've anyway. So th this this is a good line of work for me to get into, and it's gonna help make money for my family since we're in, we're in a situation. Um, we're not in a bad situation. It's it's working out very well, but it's things changed as I explained in one of the videos. I forget what I even called it. I can't remember. Um, things changed, and then it's time to uh, it's time to go with the changes. So I'm looking very very much looking forward to this new job adventure. And, um, and there's video opportunity. There's definitely some video opportunity in this job adventure. There's def I could definitely start a series on the Steve Tooley channel with this job. A very interesting series, I, I think. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. This is right up my alley. This is something I'm going to much enjoy. Can't wait. Can't wait to get started. I'm thirsty. Alright guys, I'm gonna get some stuff done. It is man, this day is creeping by too. Like I took an hour nap. <laughs> I, I uh, we started watching a movie, and uh, I, I ended up taking an hour nap while that movie was playing. Um, it, it always seems to happen that way. Turn on a movie, I fall asleep. So I got an hour nap in, which was nice. And uh, but this day, it's 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 like 1:30 in the afternoon. This day seems like it's just creeping along. That's okay. That's okay. It's a beautiful Saturday. It can go as slow as it wants. Okay. I've got to get off the vlog and get some stuff done. I'll see you in the next clip.
Hello, daughter. Ouch, the cat just attacked my foot. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> she, even though she's not a mother. Oh, yeah. And I, already said, I already said it to you. And she came over early to bring my wife some gifts. And she got her... Oh, let me see them. I hold the pants up. She got her these pants. Because there's a local store called The Spotted Owl that sells those and my wife loves them. My daughter loves them too. Did you get yourself some too? No, I haven't yet. Oh. So that's, she came over early. She's, she's a lot like me. She gets up early. She's kind of an early bird. And she runs too. She, she runs. I just gave her a Tom Tom watch to use when she's running. She, I think she's faster than me though. I haven't ran with her in a while. <laughs> Last time I ran with her, uh, towards the end of the run, she, she does this crazy thing where she just runs really fast because she wants to get it over with. And I'm too old for that shit now, so I don't run with her anymore. <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe I should. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Probably, like there's a dog you. probably kill me. Well, if there's a dog behind me, I'd do fine. So, he didn't load his day. And uh, if you got a good mom out there, and uh, and you love her so very much, you better wish her a happy Mother's Day. You better not forget to spend some time with her. Alrighty guys, I got a shower. Just got back from a run. Run went very well. Run went well in the beginning. Um, let me let me find a spot to sit you. I'll put you right here. In the, in the very beginning of the run, ooh, that's right. Focus right there. Okay. In the very beginning of the run, it, it, it was it was a little rough. My legs were pretty sore, and I I, I was I was kind of struggling a little bit. So I hit mile two and I started losing up, feeling really, really good. About mile two and a half, I decided to stop and stretch out my calves because they were starting to like uh, tighten up a little bit and that freaks me out because I don't want to pull calf muscle. And then, um, so I stopped and stretched and then I fin finished out my run. I was doing a real good pace and then towards the end of the run, I started kind of tapering down a little bit and slowing down. So it's just the way it goes, it's the way it goes. I need some water. Alrighty, so around 4 o'clock today we're doing a cookout for my wife for Mother's Day and all of our kids are coming together around. I'll probably throw some of that in the vlog. Not sure how much vlogging is going to happen today because we're not going to be doing a whole lot. i got to fix my wife breakfast and uh, then we're not going to be doing a whole lot. So um, It might be a very short Sunday vlog. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey wife. Oh. Happy Mommy's Day. Thank you. She's probably the best mother in the world. She's pretty amazing. I'm sure, well, I guarantee all my kids would agree. They love their mommy very much. Oh, I'm a little sore from my run. I'm hobbling a little bit. All right, I got to do breakfast and coffee and stuff and things, and, and, and I got to shut this music off um, before I get copyright strike. Don't ever want to do that. Sometimes they just mute your whole video. Like this video is restricted in these countries, the United States being one of them. Your video's been muted, and then it's like, well, now what do I do? That's happened to me before. Okay. All right. I gotta thaw some of this sausage. We got. We got sausage links. Hey, chunky, you want an ice cube? You can have that ice cube that fell out of the freezer. All right, I get these thought out. Um, such you guys here again while I do kitchen stuff. Dishes didn't get done last night. My daughter's job, she didn't do it. So now the dishes are in my way. It's a little chilly out there this morning. Close that. All righty, it is Mother's Day. As you already know, and uh, it's time to celebrate it. So I'm gonna make my wife breakfast, gonna make her coffee, and uh, I'm not gonna let her do anything. Nothing. She's not gonna clean the house. She's not gonna cook anything. She's not gonna do anything. We're gonna we're gonna celebrate her. 
she deserves to be celebrated. Almost broke something. Alrighty. I'm gonna get this breakfast going, I'm gonna get the sausage cooking, and we're gonna get this day started. So I'll see you in the next clip. Breakfast is served. Sausages, omelets, delicious. These are, these are yummy. They've got like a maple smell to them. I, I didn't realize that when we bought them. I didn't realize they... Are they sweet? I don't know. But they've got like a maple smell to them. It smells delicious. Hi. <laughs> Shut the light off on me. Not sweet. Oh, not sweet. But... Got like a maple flavor? Yeah, like we had pancakes or something. Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to do our Mother's Day breakfast. I mean, sort of. It's not really much different than any other breakfast time, but it is Mother's Day, so it does make it a Mother's Day breakfast. That's delicious. Alright, we're going to get on, we're going to get down on this food and I will see you in the next clip. Camera punch. Mm. Alrighty, YouTube. We are gonna take the dog for a ride. Go we'll grab a. You can tell yeah, with, with her, her panting in the background. Um, we're going to grab some monsters. We're gonna go for a little truck ride just because. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Women. I'm not a piece of meat. Yes, you are. Oh. Um. Anyway. Um, so we're going to take the dog for a ride, we're going to go for a little bit of truck ride, we're going to grab some monsters, just going to kind of enjoy the day. We're not having our kids over until like 4 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, so with that, I'm going to end the vlog. Maybe a short weekend vlog, I don't know, I haven't even started editing it. Would you, would you let me finish? Would you let me finish, woman? No. So, I'm going to end the vlog right here, right now, we're, just so we can enjoy this day and enjoy this Mother's Day. But before the vlog ends, you can check out this footage of what went on when the camera was off. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Happy weekend. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. And if you're a mom, and, and I, I hope you had a fantastic Mother's Day. And uh, just enjoy this day. Enjoy your family. It's important. Family's so important. So, we're going to take... Oh, <laughs> hey, Ebony. Hey, Ebony. Ebony. <laughs> We're going to take her on a ride. She loves it. And like I said, monster truck ride. Enjoy the day. Thank you guys for coming to the Steve Taylor channel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the weekend vlog. And I'm going to try to do my best to get videos out throughout the week, but uh, I got to go to work, which is okay with me. So enjoy this footage. <laughs>